Do we have to sell high and buy high into this market? Are you a property owner who is thinking if you sell your house now, will you still make a profit when you buy at prices which are at an all-time high today? If you'd like to know, continue to watch the video. Hi everyone, I'm Joyce and welcome back to my channel, Selling Singapore Property. I just had a meet up with one of my HDB owner recently. She told me they have fully paid their flat and would like to know what are the options they can have for their property portfolio now. The main reason why I would like to share this in today's video is because I realized that these are the same challenges that many of my clients and property owners are facing right now. So, if you are also in this situation and considering whether to stay put or to change to another property, this video is for you. At the end of this video, I'm sure that you will have a better understanding of your next move and can make sound decision for your property portfolio. As HDB are at the peak in terms of prices now, let us go way back to 2013 which was the last market peak to understand more. So as you can see, from 2008 to 2013, prices have increased significantly over the years. In order to moderate the increase in housing prices, the government announced a series of cooling measures over the years. Due to the cooling measures, this has caused the HDB prices to take heat and was stabilised for the next 7 to 8 years. However, things finally changed in 2020 when COVID hit. The increased demand and lack of supply in the market finally made the HDB prices rebounded. With that, the HDB prices have once again hit a new high and many HDB were transacted at high prices. So, will the government allow the HDB prices to continue to surge if their aim is to keep HDB prices affordable all these years? What do you think? I don't think so. In my opinion, I believe all of us will agree that HDB should be an asset whereby it can maintain its value. Now, let us look into the historical data. In September 2012, which was the last market peak, a 5-room HDB located on the 10 to 12-storey range in Singkang was transacted as high as 528000 However, in 2018, a similar 5-room unit which was located on a higher floor, 13 to 15-storey range, was transacted at only 395000 It's a huge difference of 133000 lesser in just a few years' time. In fact, we have seen many similar HDB facing the same risk of not being able to keep its value and had to sell at a much lower price than the price which they have bought it for. So owners have been asking me, what can they do to protect their profits and grow their wealth at the same time? The current scenario is the same scenario back in 2013 where the property market is rising and many of the owners were in the same dilemma. Now let me share with you the opportunities these HDB owners, husband and wife, would have gotten if they have sold their HDB in 2012 as per my example above. Assuming they have agreed and proceeded with my property upgrading plan for them and sold their HDB in 2012 and bought a new condo launch, DNES, a 3 bedroom at 1259 square feet in 2013 for 1.003 million and sold it off in 2018. Their total profit would be 414800 in a short span of 5 years. And after they have sold off their DNAS, I would have recommended them to buy their next new property, Sterling Residences, a 3 bedroom at 883 square feet at 1.568 million that was launched in 2018. They would have earned an additional amount of 332000 when they sell their Sterling Residences in 2022. Their total profit would be a significant sum of 746000 in a period of 9 years. However, imagine if they hold on to their HDB these 9 years. Can you imagine the opportunities they have missed out all these years? After they have sold off their sterling residences in 2022, I have identified another undervalued new launch property for them to enter at lowest risk so that they can earn the highest profit when they sell it 3 years later again. I will continue to identify the next best undervalued property for them to enter with minimal risk and exit with the highest profit. Through our sharing, we would like to share with all the HDB owners that changing the right kind of properties progressively can help to multiply your profits in a faster mode but this can only be done safely with the right research and systematic manner. After talking to many owners, I realised that some of them regretted missing the right period to sell or some of them do not know when would be the best time to sell and which property and pricing they should purchase next. My advice is always to buy into a development which can increase or hold its value and it's very important to time your exit plan in order to maximise your profits. If you have some plans in mind and would like me to analyse if that would be the right opportunity for you, don't hesitate to reach out to me so that I can share my analysis with you. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media accounts as I'll be sharing more property videos beneficial to your property journey. I'm Joyce and thank you for watching my video. Bye!